then we need to get to know more about her. DNA. Excellent. <laughs> I'll take the samples from the passenger side. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Me and Billy collecting human tissue and fluid specimens, just like when we were kids. <laughs> Glad you guys are enjoying yourself. This is Peter and Dr. Walter Bishop, the civilian consultants I told you about. This is Special Agent Lincoln Lee from Hartford. He has some information regarding this case. Hi. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is... Agent Olivia Dunham. Fringe Division. What division? So what you got? The, uh, woman who jumped and walked away? Her name is Dana Gray. She was murdered 18 months ago. Two bullets in the head. M.E. said she died instantly. She was killed with her husband and her children in a home invasion robbery. Oof. That's grisly. I can't argue. This was a tough one. You ever find who did it? Yes. We, uh, tried to bring him in, but he drew on us. Two agents ended up putting him down in a shootout, so case closed. That is, until I get a call about Mrs. Gray's body disappearing from the morgue. I assumed it was stolen. It's a reasonable assumption. I didn't think anything of it until I saw this. Witnesses report seeing two people jump out of a dorm window. Cops get there, one body. Grad student who lived there. But the cops find two sets of fingerprints on the ledge during their investigation. Second set, those fingerprints were identified as Dana Gray's. Which is insane because she's dead. Well, you know, stranger things have happened. Um, no, they haven't. Don't listen to him. Her. Sorry. Go on. Not knowing what to make of it, I flagged Gray in the system. Over the next two months, we found prints at three other double suicides. Now, security photos show her there, and eyewitnesses report seeing her die. First responders show up. There's only one body, and it's never hers. I know this sounds insane, but I don't think this woman can die. Isn't this our lucky day? Thank you.